before we get into this video, let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes. Smash that like button. Subscribe too. Let's go. Hey yo, what is going on YouTube? And welcome back to another video. Good morning. It is currently 8.45 a.m. And with my sleep schedule that I've been on, I'm not a morning person. I do apologize if I don't look fully awake and fully functioning right now. My brain is still buffering. I'm probably like 40% loaded right now. I woke up at eight o'clock this morning, got everything packed up for this trip. I'm actually over at Jaren's right now, getting ready to pick him up. And then we are gonna be heading off towards the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. We're gonna be doing a ton of fishing today Jaron actually went through and marked a bunch of spots that we can check out on the way to our hotel and then we'll be staying the night and then picking up my bags and wheels at noon tomorrow probably gonna do some more fishing tomorrow as well listen this Tesla right Lance had actually mentioned this in his video there's like the safety feature where if the Tesla feels like you're gonna maybe rear end someone or get into an accident it just slams on the brakes for you this happened the other day and it literally just happened again and I wasn't even that close to the guy that was in front of me like I was fully aware fully paying attention but it's just like I don't know why maybe like the setting is super high right now I need to scroll through my settings and see if maybe I can like either turn that down a little bit possibly turn it off because it, it almost feels more unsafe than it does safe let me see sentry mode dash cam format USB drive nope Nope, oh, I'm pushing buttons that I don't want to push. Driving, like let's see, safety and security. Right, you would assume that it would be here. Joe mode, oh, hold on. You can set a pin for your glove box and a pin to drive. Enabling Joe mode reduces the volume of your car's chime. Alert the driver effectively, minimize your passengers in the rear seat. Okay, I mean, you can set it up to avoid tolls as well and avoid ferries. What, those things still even exist? Forward collision warning, medium, it's set to medium right now I feel like this needs to be set to late we're gonna test that out and see how that works see if that's better because like I said I was really nowhere near the car in front of me but they did kind of slow down a little bit quick because someone was slamming on their brakes to hurry up and make a turn into a parking lot but like I said I was fully aware like I was already slowing down in the process of slowing down and braking but according to my Tesla I was not braking fast enough so it's like we're gonna put on the brakes for you. So I turned that off to late, so hopefully that's a little bit better. I texted Jaron and I, I was supposed to be here at nine, it's 8.45, I'm a little bit early. He just said, okay, let me grab a few more things, fill my cup, and I'll be out. Definitely a super exciting trip planned for this weekend. I'm excited to do a ton of fishing. Our main goal is we wanna catch a peacock bass. That's what we're aiming for. I've never caught one. I'm also under the impression Jaron's never caught one. I don't think he has. If we can get a peacock bass, it'll be our first. So definitely excited. I got my GoPro. I got all my batteries, my chargers, my laptop. I'm pretty sure I got everything that I need for this trip, except, oh no, I forgot deodorant. You know what, that's all right. We can stop at Walmart and buy some deodorant. Or Jaren can just deal with me smelling like for a couple days. I thought it was the forward collision warning that does that, but it's actually the automatic emergency braking. But my biggest issue with it is this right here, obstacle aware acceleration. After the Tesla decides it's gonna brake all on its own, when I try to accelerate, I like can't move. I need to almost fully stop before I can start accelerating again. Isn't necessarily the best because if someone is behind me and my Tesla just slams on the brake, there's a strong possibility that I could end up getting rear-ended. I'm so new to all this stuff, man. I, before this, I was driving a 2007 Cadillac CTS that had heated seats, electric controlled seats, and that was about it. Everything else in that car was broken. These types of features did not exist in there. Yeah, I don't even think my BMW had these types of features either, to be honest. So this is all new, kind of getting used to how the Tesla is gonna react in certain situations. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of that feature right now. Bro, we're gonna be gone for one day. What do you mean? What do we mean? What do I mean? You packed your entire life. Yeah, trunk's a little messy. I haven't cleaned it yet. I'll clean it at some point. I just got a pillow. I like my pillow. Okay? Oh my God, bro. It's the pillows at the hotel will be fine. It's a Tempur-Pedic pillow. Don't oh my God. You and your Tempur-Pedic bullshit. Come on, chop, chop. We got fish to catch and to do. Bags to get. And you're bringing two poles. I only brought one. And guess what? I didn't bring my pole with the collapsible rod either. That's all right. Yeah, I think we'll make it work. I think I got more than enough room to fit four wheels and a bag kit in here. Uh, you push the button. Sorry. 
<laughs> it is looking a little gloomy in Florida still today. I don't think they're calling for any of that R word, but we'll see what happens. So you also want to know some other bad news? Oh God. I didn't fully charge. Why? I, I thought Why? it being plugged in in the garage that we were going to have enough battery. And it just, it was, it was, it was charging. Miles an hour wasn't was, enough. Yeah, the five miles an hour wasn't enough. Oh my I God. I think we'll be good. Should I just GPS right to the hotel and then you have the spots pinned on your phone that we can check out? Yeah. And then they're we'll just, all on 75. So they're like on the way, right? Yeah, if you take 75, they're literally like off ramps that only go to, to, fishing boat, spots? to boat ramps. Okay. For whatever, I don't know why they do that, all right, but so it's kind of... Well, where should I GPS to then? Our hotel? Yeah, I'd probably do the hotel first. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can type yeah, this in. More accurate address, because there's probably a million of these <laughs> yeah. hotels out there. Uh, Not in Tampa. Hollywood. It's in Hollywood? 33020. So I'm assuming yeah. this one, 174 miles. And then see finding superchargers for your trip. So it'll like plan out where we're gonna have to stop and supercharge to make it there. I mean, it's only a 290 mile drive. Technically we could make it. Uh, Technically uh, I think if you drive like a normal person, I think we could make yeah, it there. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the thing. That's where you lost me, driving like a, a normal person. So look right here. Supercharger, what? I'm not charging up right now. And then it wants me to stop in Plantation, Florida, and then we'll get to the hotel with 29% battery. There is a supercharger like right along in here somewhere. So it basically wants me to charge up here so I don't have to charge until we get there, but I know oh, there is a stop on the okay. way, so. Hopefully once we start driving, it'll it'll recalculate those superchargers because I am not supercharging right now. Well, our first pit stop is a supercharger and unfortunately, every single supercharger charging station is taken. So basically what that means is we got to sit here and wait until someone is done charging. I kind of have to shit too. What do we got around here for food? Is that Burger King right there or is that Culver's? That's Burger King. Probably do some Burger King for lunch, a little snack. It's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm just hoping one of these people chop chops because I'm trying to charge up and I need to get my lines wet. I need to be fishing right now. Finally was able to get a spot at the supercharger. Hook this bad boy up and we're going to head in. You want Burger King or do you want something else? Burger King's good with me. I mean, it's quick. Yeah, I'm down. We only got to stop here for about 15 minutes before we continue with the trip. Just head into Burger King, grab something quick. Ended up grabbing a chicken sandwich with some fries and a drink for lunch. Jaren over here got nine piece of chicken fries and then got another <laughs> nine piece. So my man is literally about to be eating 18 chicken fries, bro. <laughs> I'm just straight exposing you right now. <laughs> Stopped at Burger King for about 15 minutes. Literally went from 80 miles till empty up to 218. The trip shall continue. You guys are probably gonna have a hard time hearing me, but we just got to our first destination over here. It is very, very, very windy. We are right next to 75, which is the highway. But this spot is looking beautiful. Got a fresh Whopper plopper on here right now. A Ventador and a 488. Woo. That sounds good. Oh. Oh, there's been like tons of Ferraris and Lambos passing since we've been here. All right, this is definitely dangerous. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh, there we go. There we go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, baby. Oh, he came up and hit the hell out of that. Just what I wanted. Nice little peacock bass, baby. First one ever. Got a lot of energy, bro. Oh, it's definitely a toasty one. We just uh, cranked up the air. Fish this spot for a little bit. I only caught that one peacock bass. Like I said, though, it's my first one ever. Now, jaron has got to catch one today. <laughs> this spot's super windy. We're going to do a little bit more driving and see if we can't find a spot that's a little bit more calm. Jaron's going to switch out his tackle right now. You're throwing on what, like a spinner? Bait. Yeah, we'll spin it with a couple spoons. Yeah, we found a nice little spot to pull off right here, right on the side. And then there's a bridge right here that we're going to try fishing under so we can be out of the wind a little bit. I have a feeling underneath this bridge, though, we might have some luck. Do a little hop around here. Bro, there's stuff jumping right over here. Oh, I just had a hit. Oh, so I just threw on that white frog Jaren got me. Literally just had a hit right in these weeds. There we go. Oh, no, he spit it out. Oh. Oh, he's, it's a big peacock. They want this, Jaren. They want it bad. Oh my God, he keeps, bro, he keeps grabbing the tail. Yeah, cause he grabbed the tail a couple times. And that's why I feel like I couldn't land him cause he was just grabbing the tail. Jaren just caught a little largy. Dude, that's bait. That's bait. 
It's so tiny. Just got over to this other spot right here. All right, so Jaren finally caught one today. Bro, I'm gonna have to change out my GoPro battery soon. It's at 10%. I'm gonna have to go swap it out real quick. Got my sweat on a little bit. It is toasty out here. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. We have 75 miles until the Tesla runs out of battery. We're about like 26 minutes from the closest supercharger, I believe. I think we're gonna head there, charge up, and then we're gonna try hitting dicks because we need to re-up. I lost two frogs today and you lost, what'd you lose today? Uh, a hula popper and a spinnerbait. Yeah. So we both lost two. <laughs> no, I caught a peacock and that large mouth. So I'm even. Oh yeah, you're You've even. lost more than you caught though. <laughs> you want to see if there's like a dicks implantation? I think we should be able to make it to the supercharger. But did we luck out? We just looked. There's a dicks right in the same plaza as the supercharger. <laughs> what are the odds of that? It's almost like it was meant to be. All right, let's head over to dicks and then also get this bad boy charged up so we can make it to our hotel and not get stranded in alligator alley or wherever the hell we are right now. We made it to the supercharger bad news dix is way on the other side of this plaza do me a favor reach in that back seat my backpack's in there in the front like top pocket there's like a little zipper on the front grab my wallet out of there because i'm going to spend some money i hate to be that guy but i'm gonna be that guy oh <clears throat> almost right into the wall huh yeah, my knee, my calf is cramping up so bad. It's been cramping up the past couple days and I don't know why. Probably because I've been using it too much because I'm limping everywhere. Oh, there we go. This feels great. There's a nice little hike over here. We're heading over to the fishing section right now. I'm gonna re-up. No, they don't have any white frogs. They have this like perch colored one. We got a black one. And then they have this perch one with a very, very shiny, sparkly bottom. So I'll grab that. Um... <laughs> the bottom one that's the only other one that we can get so grab another one of those i guess here give me that because i owe you one so i'm gonna buy you one i'm buying the other three you can use them if you want damn no white ones i had a feeling we were gonna catch a lot of stuff on the white one but hopefully we can still have some luck okay this is gonna be okay we're just gonna go this way that there's no way i'm fitting my fat ass through there oh hold on what about these frogs mm, i mean none of them are white though that's the only thing chatterbait you ever used one of these Let me grab one of those those are nice chatterbaits are fun let's see what else we got bass lure kit oh hold up hold the phone hold the phone the last one <laughs> The last white one. Dude, they have a bunch of different colored ones here. Hmm. That's pretty nice. I think I'll try that one. It's like a nice light green. Yeah. Light okay, am I doing too much? Bro, do you see how many frogs I have in here? Am I doing too much? <laughs> well, how many have you lost today? <laughs> Two. So if I buy seven frogs, for, am I doing too much? <laughs> Bro, there is no way. I'm really about to spend like $60 on freaking frogs. And then also what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some 30 pound test line because if I have... 15 on and I land a peacock bass in the lily pads and my line snaps I'm gonna be very very upset so we're gonna grab some of that I'm not gonna throw it on now but just in case how many yards is that uh, I think it's 150 at 30 pounds mm, bro I cast like 700 all right that'll work what else do we need more froggy frogs bro I think I'm good on frogs oh it's like a little cheetah polka dot one oh yeah hand me one of those I'm test one of those out too yeah, just because I think for the peacock bass, I was just looking at that too. I'd grab that. Yeah, that looks nice. See what works out here. The frogs, I think we're going to have good luck with the frogs. Oh no, my camera battery is about to die. Minus the fact that I just spent $100 on fishing lures, Jaron and I walked around all the way to that end of the entire building when there's a cut through right here that goes all the way through. Wow. Lucky for us, right next to Dick's was a nice little canal, a little pond over here. I just threw on that. That white frog that I was having some luck with earlier looks a little shallow right here but there is some tall grass so I'm gonna pop through here with the frog this frog actually has an open mouth on it so it kind of almost acts as like a popper as well makes a little noise pops a little bit Jaren's got a whopper plopper on first time using a whopper plopper don't catch a duck oh bro there's a dead iguana it's just so crazy I wish we had this stuff on our side of Florida that they have over here peacock bass iguanas what an iguana? Right out, it ran out in front of you? I can't see it. Oh, I just, I see it going up the tree right now. Holy cow. That's a Miami squirrel. Yo, I don't know what kind of chickens these are, but these ones look weird. It'd be pretty cool to catch an iguana for the vlog, but they're super fast and I'm not agile right now. So I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, you got one? What is it, a bass? 
Little Largy, let's go. On the whooper plooper. First catch on the whooper plooper, nice. Right off the corner. Sweet. He hit it literally like in the middle too. Did he? I didn't even catch him on the back hook. Nice. You think there's peacock in here? Jaron caught a nice little largemouth out of here. Oh, it looks super shallow right here. Really shallow. Oh, 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 oh my God. An iguana just came flying out of the tree. Dude, I was like, what the hell is that? I scared the iguana. I want to catch one. Come on, bro. We caught a gator. There's no way an iguana is worse than a gator. I don't even think they have teeth like that. Huh? Was that a fake duck? They have a fake goose in here. Wait, there's a couple fake geese in here. There's one there, one there, one down there. Yeah, they're fake. We just found this nice little park to come over to. Got one? Is it big boy? The way you're, the way you're reeling it in looks like it's a big boy. Them whopper ploppers, man. I'm telling you, the whooper plooper. That's a nice little peacock, baby. That's a pretty one. Oh, that is yes. so pretty. Look at that big f Oh my God. Look at that fat boy. That's a pretty one. He was about it too. Yeah. He went right up to that They love them whopper floppers, bro. I'm telling you. Make sure you take a picture of that bad boy. He's got a real pretty color on him too. I might have to switch back to old reliable. Right as I was walking up to you, Darren caught another one. I changed out my frog. I put a different frog on because the other one was just getting way too much in the weeds. So I did like the pointy nose one. So it'll stay out of the weeds a little bit better. I was walking down here and I kept seeing your little, your little seaweed trails. Oh, there is a bunch of dog turds over here. There we go. I think I got something on here. I hope it's not just all seaweed. I think there might be a fish in here somewhere. Maybe not. No, he brought me right into the weeds and that's all I got was weeds. <laughs> I literally just caught the entire freaking ecosystem. Whatever it was, he hit it hard. Caught everything that was over there but the fish. Bro, they're gonna, they're gonna start hitting real soon. They should start hitting like crazy within the next 15 minutes or so. Oh, that's a peacock. That's a peacock, baby. Oh. oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Oh. Beautiful fish. That one's like a half pound bigger than mine. Look at that fish, baby. He caught me up good. I got myself with the hook. Yeah. Got me in the thumbs. She got hooked right here. Yeah, gnawing on me. That was a nice peacock, bro. That's like what I came out here for. Yeah, that's like what I came out here for. Oh, right at the edge with a leaf on. Let's go. Huh? That's a good size regular. Yeah. Nice little regular largemouth. Dude, these fish out here sniff crack before they... I know. All right, I'm going. <laughs> Oof. I don't even know how I hooked this guy. Probably about a pound, pound and a half. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh my God, there's an iguana right here. It scared the hell out of me. <sighs> Well, there's my iguana, guys. Look at this guy. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Bro, he's struggling so hard to get through these weeds right now. I heard something squirming. I'm like, what the hell is that? That's a goddamn iguana. So I don't know if you guys can see up in the sky, but I'm not too sure what club that is, but it's literally lighting up Miami colors. You see it? It's like the South Beach blue and whatever pink good day of fishing just got to the hotel room what's the view looking like oh the parking lot but there's literally water right to our left guys we can fish as soon as we get up in the morning bro you know what i'm so mad about though mm. is the fact that there's two beds and i don't get the fucking cuddle with you i, I told him i wanted a king this oh my god we should have got a suite with like a jacuzzi I know. <laughs> a little heart-shaped jacuzzi and everything yeah day one of fishing in florida was an absolute success we're on day two Last night was daylight savings time, so we actually lost an hour of sleep. It's 7.35 in the morning right now. Jaron said the only thing this hotel had for breakfast was some 
shitty bagels and what else? Fruit? Fruit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't eat fruit. So I think with that being said, we're gonna head off. We're gonna go grab some Dunkin' really fast. Definitely get some food in our system. We did end up ordering Chinese food last night. <laughs> Bro, do you know how much that Chinese food was? How much was it? $60. Holy <laughs> shit, you serious? <laughs> yeah. Most expensive Chinese food I've had in a long time, but we're gonna go grab some Dunkin and then we're gonna head off and do some fishing It is chilly in Florida today. It's like it's gonna be perfect fishing weather today It's got a high of 72 absolutely beautiful right now. It's like 57 58 degrees So it is a little it's a tad bit nipply outside. So we just found this park Yeah, this seems a little more my speed over here. Yeah, I feel a lot more confident here Seems pretty shallow too, bro. There is a monster bowfin right here. No, that's a snake head. Oh, he's interested. He's got that big old eye on his tail. I'm pretty sure that's a snake head. Dude, huge, Jaren. Did you see him? Yeah, he's huge. Got, oh, you just had one? Lost him. Well, that's a good sign. I'm gonna go down this way a little bit, Jaren. Wish I had a frog on. I'd freaking pop right under this tree. Actually, that wasn't half bad. <clears throat> Just keep burping up that Duncan. Hi, puppy. No, you're fine. I got two dogs. We're basically at the spot where I need to pick up my wheels and my bag set up. We've just cleaned out the entire car, did some organizing. And I mean, with the seats down, minus the fishing poles right now, we have a decent amount of room. I'm hoping we'll be able to fit everything, but we're gonna head over there right now and get everything picked up. Hopefully they're done. We have got the Tesla completely jam-packed, loaded up. I think every empty spot inside this car, minus the driver's seat and the passenger seat, is filled right now. Compressor has got the tank in there. These are the rear, the rear bags, whole set of wheels, wiring harness, bunch of stuff. We gotta load it up though. All right, now let's make sure this closes again and then we should be good to go. It's closed to me. Hope I backed up far enough. <laughs> Barely. Plug this in and then Jaron and I are gonna head into Firehouse Subs over here. This is the same one we came to yesterday where we went to Dick's. Gonna head into Firehouse Subs, grab some lunch and then go do some more fishing. Yeah, so we're back in the wind tunnel. We got everything picked up, charged up, Tesla's full, cars filled up, we're filled up. We had some Firehouse Subs. Super good back out here doing some fishing on the way home. These are two little ponds right here that we're gonna test out. See if maybe we can't get something out of here. I'm not too sure if there's gonna be anything in these ponds, but we're gonna try it. Oh, look at, I got a little baby gator. What? A little baby gator. First one that we've seen out here. He's a little guy too. First gator we've seen out here, yeah. I see more gators where I live than out here. You wanna try that side? I'll try this side. Yeah, we're good. Little, little switcheroo. Oh, what'd you get, the gator? <laughs> you caught the gator? Oh, by the tail? It's underwater. It was underwater? Oh, he was underwater? Yeah underwater and I was pulling it back and all of a sudden I seen something smack. Yeah, if you get him up here, I'll reach down and grab him and get it off. Oh, God damn it. You lost it on him? No. I think I'm gonna go over, try fishing over there. I'm also gonna fucking take a piss right here. Tell this guy not to look at my God, the amount of sh in this car is actually insane. <laughs> Another spot, we hopped on 75, heading back towards home, more towards home. This spot don't look like it could be half bad. These docks, these wooden ones make me so nervous. Of course, it's always when I stop recording that I catch a nice fit. Got a nice peacock bass right here. Come here, boy. Nice little peacock bass, baby. Not too much color to this one. Yeah, that a little I wonder if it's a like hybrid. Oh, <laughs> no, no, there you go. He flopped right off. Came down to the other end of this spot, threw in a new GoPro battery because my other one was about to die. Crazy, I recorded a bunch of footage and that was literally, I think the first fish that I caught today. You know the thing that really sucks? Is now we lose an hour of daylight. That's the thing that really sucks. Damn, this is just making my titties look extra big. And you didn't even have the decency to let me know that my titties were titty. Sorry, I was just enjoying it. it you gonna throw like that other one on, or are you gonna use that? F you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna work this one a little bit. If we uh, if we come up on like another boat, yeah, right f you. You know what? I don't even want to listen to anything else you have to say. <laughs> it was a compliment. I thought this was supposed to be a boys trip. It's a compliment. Th that it looks like I'm wearing a push-up bra. 
Yeah, whatever. Oh, right here. There we go. I watched him hit that one. Nice little peacock, baby. Look at the energy on these things, dude. It's actually crazy. Yeah, bro, I caught you. You're, you're on there. Nice little guy, little baby. Strong little bastards. There we go. Wow, this one's even smaller. <laughs> yeah, this one's a baby. That's bait. That's bait. How in the world? <laughs> what? <Snag City. laughs> I don't even know how I caught him. I really, really don't. He probably swiped at it and missed it. Yeah, probably. I think this is the smallest one I caught. You got a nice one? Yeah, buddy. There you go. <laughs> That's the one we've been waiting snacks. for. And you know what's crazy is I've been over here fishing this for a hot minute and didn't get one. Look at how I hooked him. Look at that. Show oh my God. Wow. That's luck if I've ever seen it. And I got him in. That's a nice size peacock. That is. That's a good little chunky guy. <laughs> Dude, when they start <laughs> squirming, bro, <laughs> you gotta squeeze like, for dear like life, bro. Shocked, like, yeah! You know, you know how you're really supposed to hold it? Is you're supposed to come underneath See, like here's this. here's the thing, you gotta watch out though, cause Snook have the, the wheels. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Join the crew. I know. That was me yesterday. We have more than enough battery to get it home, but Jaren's gotta poop. So we're stopping at the, the Miko Sucky Service Plaza. Mmm. Miko Sucky. What'd you say? I'm not playing you. You said you got a poop. Grab my wallet. Come on, toots. So did you have a nice poo? Oh, it was great. Bro, I thought we were going to be here for like 45 minutes. Oh. Guys, in case you were wondering when Jaren poops, he takes like an hour. Never, yeah, never what? An hour. You're, bro, you're when so, you're I, literally. When was the last time you watched me for an hour? Bro, I remember when we went up to camp to do the hunting trip. You were like, yo, I think I got a sh I waited 45 minutes for you and you didn't even sh you just sat on the toilet for 45 minutes, Look, so. Sometimes it just don't want to cooperate with me, okay? Yeah, I, I get it. Play. I just, I'm so sick of your excuses. Lots of You're gas. an hour long shit. Lots of gas. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Finally home after a long trip. The amount of bugs on my car. So, I think tomorrow, Bay's gonna need a wash. I got the wheels in the garage, the bag set up back there. I don't know if you can see the Duracell battery. That's the air tank. I want to show you guys the wheels, but I think I'm gonna wait to show you them until we get the whole car bag with the new wheels on. What an absolutely beautiful day in Florida today. 75 degrees. We got a package from Amazon this morning. This right here is very, very important. So with Teslas, they kind of have crappy lift points. Since we're going to be bagging the Tesla, putting it on wheels, we're going to be doing this at my buddy Jaron's shop that he works at. In order to put it up on the lift, they actually make these hockey pucks right here that go underneath the lift points of the Tesla to make it easier for it to lift up. So those just came in today. We needed these kind of before we can start the whole bagging process. Also waiting on a couple other things. I had to order some new airlines, so waiting for those to come in. And then also had to order the lower front strut mounts for the uh, air suspension as well. Just waiting on those to come in. Once those come in, we will be able to start bagging the Tesla, putting the wheels on. I I'm so excited. I'm so impatient. I wish I could just do it right now, but I've just got to wait for all this stuff to come in. I was planning on posting this vlog today, but I have so much footage to edit. It's Monday, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. It's probably going to be Tuesday when you guys are watching this. So I was going to upload this vlog on Monday, but the amount of footage that I have from this trip over this weekend is just insane. I've already edited a bunch of it. The vlog's like 24 minutes long already and still have a ton more footage to edit from a whole nother day. But I'm back home. We are going to be hanging out with Lance for a little bit today. He does go back to New Jersey tomorrow, which kind of sucks. So this is probably going to be our last vlog together for a while. I've been on the grind, man. We've been up uploading super long videos, uploading a ton of vlogs. It feels so good to kind of just be like back in a rhythm. So stay tuned. The vlogs are still going to be coming. Also, Julia, when she was here like a couple 
couple weeks ago left her her purse or her handbag so I want to drop that off to them as well before they head back so I need to grab some food at some point I'm absolutely starving I haven't done any grocery shopping in I don't know how long I've just been running around crazy schedule weddings birthdays you guys know so who knows maybe there's some grocery shopping in the forecast for today also I don't know if you guys can see it too well but there are so many just like bug guts all over my windshield right now one thing I think Tesla definitely could have done better is the windshield wipers because when you use your windshield wiper fluid it comes out of the middle and shoots up top so there's no way to get like enough of the juice of the windshield juice down on the bottom of the windshield so it really only takes care of the top half and like if you're on the highway doing like 70 miles an hour the windshield wipers just don't do anything with the windshield washer fluid what'd you say about it's like a cockpit bro what the f is that mm -hmm. that looks like a car from like men in black dude it's a 2022 deluxe bro. i don't like it you like that dude it's dope well go buy one it's dope. <laughs> how much is that Three mil. <laughs> yeah, yo, if we all put our funds together, we could get one. Dude, the payment on that thing would literally be probably like 50 grand a month. We can swing it. Yeah, we can do it. Where did Lance just go? Why'd he just disappear into the bedroom? I bust out the vlog camera and he goes and hides. Where's Joy? Yo, Lance. What? Are you sh**ing? No. What are you doing? I thought we were gonna make out. <laughs> Come on. Get in the bed ready. All right, all right, what are we doing? You wanna go on a board ride? Bro, you know what? I'm really nervous to get on anything that moves because every time I do. Oh my god. <laughs> we no. just got that. You should probably scooch it away a little bit. Yeah, I do that every time, but then whenever we like take out the trash. You just move it back. I don't. But someone does but no every time I get on something that moves I end up getting injured So I don't know if it's the best idea to go on a board ride, huh? Give me your car? I said get on not get in I get in my car. I don't get on my car. I got on the electric bike I, I got on the electric go-kart I was gonna say something up and then I chose not to Why say it spit it out. What were you gonna say? <laughs> say <what I> <laughs> this thing looks dangerous Lance ordered a scooter that goes like 60 miles an hour This isn't it that one hasn't shipped yet, but this definitely looks dangerous Dangerous. I gotta watch out for holes, potholes, ear holes. I always watch out for those. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll be trapped forever. <laughs> oh no, my controller's dying. For real? We're about to go on our first board ride and my controller is dying. And guess what the best part is? What? I don't have the charger here, it's back in Jersey. So You're pulling me home. Oh. Bro, it's blinking red. I don't, this might not be a good idea. Yo, look how long my fingernails are. This is after one week. That's insane. Yo, look how long my I don't see it. I get that a lot. Can <laughs> we go through here? No, you can run into it. <laughs> oh, it opened. I guess I'm big enough. Yeah, I thought you were a f***ing <laughs> tractor <laughs> trailer. <laughs> How much juice do you think your charger has? I really don't know. Like enough to do a mini board ride or like enough to we have to turn around right now and Well, listen, back. you're pulling me back if it dies. Man's is shaking it for no reason. I think I just puked. <laughs> what is happening right now? I think he's on it. You're jealous? <laughs> yeah, I can't grow sh for a beer. <laughs> oh, he got his full black pink. Holy acorns. Yo, it's kind of chilly. It is. Like, my nipples are starting to get hard. Mine are always hard. <laughs> Mine are always hard. You're always, like, lactating. Rock solid, bro. You're always lactating. Yeah. <laughs> Best teddy milk in the game. <laughs> Yeah. Probably so much wind noise. So Cody was just telling me about something. I've actually heard about this. He was saying you basically have to be careful which areas you go in of water because there's brain eating amoeba. So if you just like get it in your mouth or in your nose, it can literally eat you alive. Yeah, it can eat your brain away. You know how I figured that out? I got real drunk one time when I was doing a live stream and jumped into a pond at a golf course and all the comments were brain eating amoeba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's I was not like, good. what is that? And I Googled it and then I had like anxiety for like the next three weeks because I'm like, oh great, I'll probably, probably get my brain eaten alive right now. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have thought the same, but. So yeah, just yeah, we, like certain fresh we ain't done any of that. water you get in, you gotta be careful. Yeah. And alligators. It's actually pretty cold out here right now for Florida. It yeah. was freezing last night. I'd say it's probably like about 50 degrees right now. It's, it's pretty chilly. It's not that cold. Well, damn, it ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You just got hit by the branch. Oh, look at my eyes. Freaking smacked me right in the nose. The tree <laughs> branch. Man's ran into the freaking oh. branch. The tree. Oh, it like whipped the shit out of my face. Dude, there's a million mosquitoes. You see them flying around Cody right now? It's kind of hard to see. Oh, there's one. It's because I smell like <laughs> no, I swear there's a million of them and it's fucking hitting us in the face yeah, well, we're on riding. this drive. Yeah. I ate about six of them on the way over here. You ate them? They did just went into my mouth mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, f it. 
<laughs> protein. Protein. <laughs> so uh, let's see the mullet, bro. It's actually looking like a mullet now. Does it? Does it flop? It, it looks better with the hat on. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, I have hat hair, so yeah. obviously it's gonna look better. Starting to get real mullety. It actually looks like a mullet now. Sick. Like I don't get it. Was this just a trial period to see if you could even do it? It was like uh, I wonder if I would look good with a mullet. It doesn't look bad, so yeah, leave it. So keep growing it even longer. I would. Ew, did you hear that? I'm gonna... <laughs> Bro, if I grow my hair out any longer, I'm gonna go for Cody to court me. <laughs> There's a lot of people walking today. Wait, wait, do the horn, do the horn. <laughs> oh my god! Bro, you scared the f*** out of me. Both of them, I did. Bro, remember when we were in LA and I was on the like smashing people like, oh! <laughs> yeah, you almost got in a couple fights. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not trying to have that happen yet. Oh, look at this dude. He's flying. Zoom. He's going faster than our boards. <laughs> you got better tires than I do for this. <laughs> oh. oh. I just caught that. All right. You okay? Bro, look at all these bugs. They're just chilling on me. Yo, there's so many. Yeah, we can't. Let's just cross right here. There's so oh Dude, I just ate like 12 of them. I just like found out not too long ago after about like 28 years of being alive. Like, when you, you were younger, what? when you what? <laughs> what, that I like men? Is that what you said? I said you love dick. Oh, yeah, same. Um, same, <laughs> implying that I do. <laughs> yeah, no. No, when like you were younger, did your mom ever tell you like, oh, put a jacket on when you go outside so you don't get sick? Yeah. You know you can't actually get sick from the cold. Like, you have to come in contact with, like, a virus or bacteria in order to get sick. Yeah, I read some, like, fact checker thing saying something like that before, too. Yeah, that, like, you only, that you can't get sick from just being cold. Yeah, apparently not, so. so our parents lied to us our whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's his karma. He just ate the flies. Yeah. Right in my mouth. Yeah, bro, I should have brought my fishing pole. Oh! Did you, did see, you see all of them? them? Yeah. Bro, hold on. Oh, that is so many. There's like a whole tornado of them right now. Damn, I should have grabbed my fishing pole out of the car and brought it over here. Because this looks like a pretty decent spot, but it is going to be dark super soon. Yeah, we were going to go further, but honestly, I don't want to risk it, so we're going to head back now. The bugs are so bad on the sidewalk, I literally have to drive in the middle of the street right now. I don't even know where Cody is. I think I lost him. The bugs out here have been absolutely insane. We're literally riding and just hitting swarms of hundreds of them. I lost Lance. I have no idea where he is. Also, Lance's remote for his board was about to die, so I think I'm gonna turn around and see if I can find him. Yo, I was literally just calling you. Where the f are you? Oh, I'm home. You're home? Oh my, you, so you passed me and I didn't even see you pass me. I turned around to come look for you. Bro, I didn't even see you either. Oh my God. All right, I'm on my way back. <laughs> he must be really far. It's been like five minutes now and only, I still don't even see him. There he is. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Bro, I've been waiting 12 minutes for you. Yeah, I was, I, cause I turned around to look for you. <laughs> cause I thought maybe your remote died. No, Whatever. I said, screw this. I, I, me and Cody, you guys don't know this, but there was a, Obviously, it's getting darker, so I feel like more gnats are even coming out yeah, now. Yeah, way more came out. And dude, that. Cody and I drove the, like through like three patches that were full of them, yeah. and we both like basically sw swallowed like at least fifteen of them easily. <laughs> easily. So I said, "Screw it!" I went on the main road, and I'm flying, bro. I'm going 25 miles an hour. My friggin' board's shaking from I speed did, wobbles. I did not see you pass me. At yeah. All. So you turned around. So I turned around because I thought maybe your remote died. <laughs> and I'm like, well, if his remote died, he would have called me. Yeah. But I was back by the bridge when I called you to figure uh, out where you were at. So, so we were deep. How we split. Yeah. And then rest is history all right well that was that was a fun board ride yeah <laughs> yo 212 you do realize that this is our last 
vlog together for 20 days, something like that. That's a long time. I think this is the longest vlog that I have ever posted. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, drop a comment if you guys are digging the longer videos. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for this vlog. I had so much footage to edit. I think it took me longer to edit the footage than it did recording all the footage for the entire vlog. I appreciate all your guys' support as always. Big things coming soon for the Tesla, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Double check, make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you turn on my notifications so you guys always get notified when I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.